the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you EFCC recovers 30 billion from humanitarian ministries looted funds. Moving on after this, we have Prof. Pat shares his thoughts saying that every Nigeria is in distress except those stealing money. But before we proceed with this news, welcome to Reality Letters Just your home of news and politics. Thank you all so much for joining us on today's news. If this is your first time of watching, please do us a favor to like and subscribe and also share. And also the notification bell to get notified when next we drop our video. You can send in your comments and keep the conversation lively in our comment session. To all our amazing subscribers, thank you all so much for joining us. To all our viewers, feel relaxed, enjoy and stay connected. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has recovered 30 billion from the 37 billion alleged laundry in the Ministry of Material Affairs under the former minister Sadia Umar Farouk. A source in anti graft agency who spoke with us on Friday said that the commission had also uncovered over 500 million from the scam associated with Umar Farouk's successor, Beta Idu, who was recently suspended by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. On Saturday in December, there was a report that 37 billion 170 million 855,753 naira was transferred from government coffers and sent to 38 different banks accounts domiciled in five legacy commercial banks belonging to or connected with a contractor James Okwite. It was gathered on Friday that 30 billion was recovered by EFCC following the placement of a lien on the bank account of Omar Farouk and Okwite, who are still being grilled by the anti drafts agency investigators. I'm so pained. But if it was a common roadside robbers, by now he would have been in prison. Why is there no arrest? No one is going to jail. And you guys think looting and bad government will stop? Hehe. <laughs> This must be a joke. There are millions of Nigerians in abject poverty and could not even eat a meal in a day, being the reason for the setting up of material ministry and money budgeted for because of what COVID-19 happened to deal with the society, including her village people. Even water is hard to get and drink ends up in her pocket. While the previous regime turns eyes from checking the compliant majority of people raised and pointed out about the corruption going on in that ministry under her. Watch why she was busy looting the money for only her family. Nigeria will never forgive you, including those that died due to Femai. For a country that really wants to fight corruption, this woman would have been sentenced to life imprisonment. Where is the money going to? Later they will tell us that they've recovered the money. Audio recoveries with no physical evidence to show what the proceeds of the recovery are used for. To be sincere, those involved should be jailed. The banks aiding and abetting should be sanctioned. It should serve as a warning to others. There should be zero tolerance for corruption. And another question I want to ask, this loot funds recovered so far, where is it going into? Because we just keep borrowing and borrowing and they are recovering some of those money that has been looted out. <laughs> where are they now investing it? I think this is just a tip of the iceberg. She will definitely still have billions hidden somewhere. And let's see what will be done to the crook. So guys, let me know your thoughts, your contributions, and your opinions towards this issue. Let's keep the conversation lively in our comment section. Moving on to the next one. A political economist and former presidential candidate, Prof. Pat Utomi, shares his thoughts with Daniel on Nigeria's economic situation, corruption, and plan for a new political party, among other issues. He recently said that the 2023 presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party, Labour Party, and the New Nigeria People Party have commenced discussion with stakeholders for a possible merge to wrestle power from the All Progressive Congress in 2027. But this claim was debunked by the political parties. What is your reaction to this? Prof. Pat Utimi said, did he just said anything like the comments a major? That people are creating their narratives. That he said that they are trying to build a real political party. In the process of the building, that he have had the opportunity to talk with each of these candidates and the process of building a party is ongoing and not a major. That one thing he knows is wrong is that he have seen the measure before that brought about the APC and look at where it has brought Nigerians. 
The problem is that Nigeria politics has been left in the domain of interests of individuals who are politicians. And they couple together a convenient arrangement that will make them win election and they forget what political parties are supposed to reel out and how political parties build ideas that solve society's problem. So his idea is that they will begin from the get-go to build a party and then talk with everybody, all Nigerians including these leaders, if they feel that they fit in into ideology, the values and the operational national strategy for development that this their platform we offer, they can join and become part of it. As he said, that he have had conversation with these particular people and they are open to the ideas. Anybody that is expecting anything from this government is wasting time. Because if you see a troop that came out to vote for APC, <laughs> now so these people go still troop out next general election to vote the same government. I like president no send our suffer. In personal pocket the day after, if you conduct presidential election today, some people will still vote APC. So let's move on with the situation because some persons and mongrels are the problem we are facing in this country. Of course, what part Utumi said is true very true those stealing nigerians common words and not complaining at all every nigeria is in distress except those stealing money Eleven thousand people just voted for apc yesterday who caused the distress in the land who voted them in and who is voting apc people are saying that some nigerians are in distress of course our leaders are the problem and they are the one putting us in distress so they are not doing anything about it right now Election will come up in 2027 and some persons will still go back and vote for APC. So what are we not saying? So guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you all so much for staying with us. We really do appreciate. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. But if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page yet, please do us a favor to like and subscribe and also share. Don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified when else we drop our video. Because I'm sure you don't want to miss out the trend and latest news happening on social media. To all amazing subscribers, thank you all so much for staying with us. We really do appreciate it. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Till like on your way next. Stay safe, guys. Bye. That you never be lonely Be the fan, that's what they call me I Promise that you